Okay, in this uh, video tutorial, I'm going to work on the look and feel of this navigation menu for this site. Um, in a previous video, we showed how to how to set it up, and uh, uh, it's pretty straightforward. And and while uh, Muse will uh, automatically implement the structure of the menu, uh, the default settings for what it looks like are are, are very plain. So. Uh, in this video, we're going to go over and make it look a little better. Uh, to do that, we're going to uh, first of all make sure we're in our our master. We're working in our master rather than one of the uh, detailed pages. So you do that by double clicking on the master down here. I've already done that. I'm in the design, and then it's as uh, simple as uh, selecting the uh, one of the buttons that we want to edit. And if you remember, uh, in these settings here, we checked edit together. So if we edit one button, it should uh, change all of the buttons of that level. Um, to do that, each time we select this, you'll see that a, uh, a different set of uh, the selection changes. So I click again. Okay, now it drops down to here. I click it again. It drops down to the whole box here, and I click one more time, and now I have a single button highlighted. That's what I want. And just be careful as you're clicking through those. If you click too fast, you can go too far. So be patient. Just click, click what what it is you want to edit, and keep on going until it's highlighted. Um, first thing I'm gonna change the fill, and uh, I'm just gonna go with the a gray for right now, and. Uh, Keep it simple. Uh, for an outline, uh, for the stroke, I'm gonna click black, and just uh, a real narrow outline. And then this next next thing it allows me to to round it off, so it's not don't have this uh, these sharp square. I can round off, make it more of a kind of a button look. And you can change the radius on your button here, but uh, ten is fine. Um, that's starting to look a little better, but it's uh, it's still pretty plain. Uh, next, let's uh, try some of these effects. And everybody's uh, probably familiar with shadows. Uh, we can try that. Yeah, that, doesn't, that doesn't look too bad. Uh, let's see what this does. Bevel makes it look uh, uh, like it has more of a 3D shape there. So that's we'll, we'll, we'll keep that there. That makes it look kind of neat. And glow, and glow is uh, uh, just just what it says. It looks like it's glowing. Um, I'm not sure if that looks right with the shadow or not. Let's get rid of the shadow and see what it looks like. Okay. Um, and then there's, uh, or we can click. Oh, how about that? We'll click inner glow, and bring the shadow back. There we go. Here, now we have those buttons looking uh, looking a little bit better and uh, just with a few simple colors and some options all right click off that and next I'm gonna do this level I'm kind of gonna do the same thing to make it look consistent uh, my fill gray stroke is black and Keep the outline one, round the edges. That's good. I'm gonna bump up the radius on this one because these are bigger buttons. Okay, that looks about right. Let's just go with 20. Uh, effects and same thing. Click the shadow, and you can you can play around some of the settings, the opacity, blur, angle, and it kind of. Um, just just play with it to see what looks good for you. Uh, I'm going with the default settings for now. Bevel and the glow and a oh, glow and inner glow. There we go. Now for some reason it didn't at all these. Uh, oh, you know what? I might not, I didn't have it selected down to the right, the right level. Or 
letters. I'll just uh, go through it again. Oops, I have the wrong thing selected there if you look closely. There we go. Stroke, make that one. It's a radius around it. I want to bring that back to transparent. something else I did I somehow I changed something here and uh, it's not doing what I want now uh, maybe it's this one no nope. that one all right well I'm gonna going to just go back until you know, it's command Z or control Z until I get rid of that background there that I created back as far as I can go. Here we go. And fill or uh, stroke that. Make it one. Okay. And for some reason, this isn't showing it's transparent. Maybe ah, uh, this is what this is where it's at here. Make this transparent. There we go. You can see how the selection changes slightly every time you click it, and you just have to pay attention to what's outlined. Okay, that's done. Now let's do this one, and I want to get down to the button itself. There we go. That's what I messed up last time. Make that gray with the stroke black put some radius on it and the effects it's the inner glow bevel and shadow just like that Okay, back to these. And uh, put the effects on them. Uh, 
And uh, there, that's looking pretty good. Oh, one thing here. You can see how I have the uh, the text color is white here, which looks looks pretty good. It's black here, so I just select that there and come over here, change it to white, and there it goes. If I want to change it to another color, I will. We'll see how that looks for now. Uh, oh, same thing here. Change out the white. There we go. Now we have a layered menu. Everything's looking right. Oh, got it. oh we didn't finish these. Uh, just have to apply the effects. Change the text back to white. And there. Yeah, finish this one. Effects, beveled. Uh. There we go. There, I, that's how you change all the. Uh, some of the visual properties of your uh, menu. One, one more thing before we go um, is we can move this around and if you remember uh, it, when I first created this I created uh, six columns. It was one col You can see these, these faint blue lines here. It was one column, two columns, three, four, five, six. And that just helps you uh, lay out the page. And as you move around you can see that that, that line turns red there uh, what that means is it's going to uh, link this menu to that red line, so it's going uh, it's going to be aligned with that guideline. And I'm going to bring it up until it touches that horizontal line, and I'm going to let it go right there. That that will keep that menu showing up at that position uh, when it loads. So if the screen size changes or the viewport changes, it'll it'll um, lock it down uh, proportionally to that. All right, I think that's about it for now, and uh, uh, so we'll uh, we'll continue to work on this in a future video. Thanks a lot.